Okay, so you're getting really involved into this nutrition thing and you keep hearing this thing called fasting. And as you know, fasting is generally eating zero calories or having things that do not spike your insulin levels or blood sugar levels for a set period of time. The most common fasting schedule is that you don't eat for 16 hours and then you eat all of your calories within an eight hour window. Now I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert that doesn't matter what type of fasting that you do. Even if you did a three day fast, but then you binge eat for four days of the week and you overeat the calories that you're burning, regardless of the types of fasting that you do, in the end, you're still going to be up weight. So it's all about the calorie in, calorie out deficit and being consistent over the course of time. Now, when it comes to fasting, I'm gonna break down the techniques and what a fast means to me so that you can understand it and then you can start to apply it to your daily regime. But before we go on guys, give the video a like. Now, when it comes to fasting, I say there's three types of fasting, okay? So number one is a true fast. The true fast is very simple. You have just water. Okay. And that is a hundred percent true fast because there's a lot of argument out there that, you know, coffee, even lemon and natural sweeteners like stevia that they have very minimal or no impact. But the word very minimal means that there is a potential that it will break your fast. And so if you're truly trying to dip into those fat stores and you're in a caloric deficit, then if you want to have a true fast, you have to go just straight water for the time that you set out for yourself. Now the second level, which I often do, is the partial fast. So you got your black tea, you got your coffee, and you got your water, you could use your lemons. It gets a little dicey when we start to add in the natural sweeteners like stevia. Okay, in my opinion, I think that there is a very minimal impact when it comes to organic stevia. But again, it's the minimal level. And the last resort when it comes to fasting is the zero calorie fast. And the research out there is very mixed. I mean, it makes sense that any type of artificial sweeteners will break your fast because once the artificial sweetener hits your tongue, it actually starts the release and the process of digesting carbohydrates. So your brain, from what I've read, is thinking that the same amount of carbohydrates, because it's sweet, are gonna be coming into the body, and as such, it needs to prepare the body to start to digest these carbohydrates. Now, there are articles out there, and there's other people out there that say that it won't break your fast, and I don't think that it will break your fast, and in the end, as long as you're in a caloric deficit, it doesn't really matter, okay? So if you wanna do the zero calorie fast, where you have any zero calorie beverage, so that could be a Diet Coke, that could be your greens, which have artificial sweeteners in it. It could be your EAAs. In the end, if it's gonna help you to stay in your caloric deficit and you dip into your fat stores because you've burned off all your calories from the previous day, then I think the zero calorie fast is going to be great because if your body still needs calories and it doesn't have any calories coming in and it's already burnt off the calories that you've previously consumed, well, where else is it gonna get the feel from? It might dip a little bit into your muscles, but if you get your body trained to be a fat burner, then guess what? Your body is going to use those fats as fuel. So in recap, you have your true fast, which is just water, okay? If you wanna be strict, do the true fast. Partial fast is going to be the black tea, coffee, and water. The zero calorie fast is any type of artificial sweeteners. So which fast should you do? Should it be a 24 hour fast? Should it be a 48 hour fast? Should you do a eating in eight, eight hours and not eating in 16 hours? It doesn't really matter. In the end, when you're working with me, it's about being in that caloric deficit. Then we wanna to try to find a way to do intermittent eating, which is another video, which is another technique that I've been working with different clients. Now, having said that, this stuff gets crazy. And honestly, nutrition is probably the hardest part of this entire journey. I mean, Fit Club, we've managed to make workouts fun. We just celebrated our second 3000 workout and we're expecting more. And so now we've established the workout, making it fun and making people want to continue to come back. We want to find the same approach when it comes to nutrition and we're continuously experimenting and getting crazy good results with our current customers. So if you're not a part of the Fit Fam, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, 
let's start you with the five days. Let's assess where you're at and then we'll determine if you want to stay longer. If you're a current member, get on my list. Honestly, just get on my belly burn list. There's often a waiting list, but I will get you in and we will find the best approach for you. Just mention the belly burn, say that you want to come with coach RJ and we'll develop a plan. The bonus is that the other coaches all work under me and I teach them these tips and tricks. So they're going to be able to apply it to you. So if you don't get it with me, the other coaches are going to be fantastic as well. But the end result is that we're going to get you to your goals.